Rise Royals. Let's go in and let's see what your 2024 is going to be looking like. Okay, if you're new here, welcome. I am Goddess Platinum and you have made it to the home of the Twin Flames. Okay, so you guys, this reading, this reading is going to be about you today. Okay, um, I have made the decision that going into 2024, I am going to be starting to talk more about you, Divine Feminine, okay, and guiding and leading you on your twin flame journey, okay, versus always talking about your person because we all know that the twin flame journey is about you ultimately okay this is going to be a good one you guys i've already pulled some cards for you okay and it is already looking amazing okay so we're going to go ahead and cleanse this energy real quick okay i've already cleansed but sometimes spirit wants me to double cleanse okay so take a deep breath in all right and imagine yourself doing the things that you want to do in 2024 okay imagine yourself doing all those things that you ever dreamt of all right because i do feel like that is coming your way all right so you saw the you you saw the title of the video and if you're here you feel it in your gut right that this is you. Th this is going to be your 2024, right? Somebody here, a divine feminine here is going to be very, very powerful. Okay? In 2024. And you know why? Okay? Because of peace. Okay? You're going to be at peace in 2024. I see you just oozing peacefulness, right? You're not going into 2024 arguing. You're not going into 2024 with the drama. You're not going into 2024 with the karmic. You are going into 2024, all right? Very peaceful. It's going to be a very, very peaceful year for you. You know why? Because you're going to make sure that it's going to be a very peaceful year for you, okay? You're going to be at peace with everything. You're going to be at peace with, you know, how people perceive you. You're going to be at peace with how people, you know, their opinions about you. Okay? It's not going to bother you at all. Okay? Because you're going to be tripping in peacefulness. All right? And we also have friendship. Okay? So I see you making a lot of friends, you guys, in 2024. This is going to be a powerful move for you because I feel like a lot of my divine feminines here, you have a very, very small circle. Okay, sorry if my voice is a little raspy. I don't know what's going on with that. Okay, um, yeah, a lot of my divine feminines, your, your, your circle is little to none, okay? You don't hang around a lot of people. Okay, you 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 don't call a lot of people your friends, but I do feel like this is going to be a powerful move for you in 2024 because you're going to have either a friendship or you're going to have several friendships. Okay, you're going to have several people that you're going to be connecting with in 2024. It's going to be a very um important time for you to uh make a connection okay with someone because i feel like this connection is going to bring you um new opportunities right it's going to open up new doors right you're going to have new uh places that you're going to visit okay things that you never thought that you were ever going to do is going to open up for you in 2024 and this is why you're going to be the most powerful okay this upcoming year all right spirit is saying that trust your feelings okay trust how you feel when you're around people 
okay? If the feeling don't feel good, if it makes you feel nauseous, if it makes you feel anxious, if it makes you feel uncomfortable, get away from it, okay? Remove yourself from anything that doesn't feel good to you. Okay, in 2024, you are going to be trusting your instincts like nobody's business. Do you see this? Okay, trust your feelings, fulfill your heart's desire. Right? Didn't I just say that? Picture yourself doing the things that you never thought that you would be doing, you're going to be doing in 2024 because you're going to make that happen, right? You're going to make that happen for yourself. Ooh, that gut feeling, you guys, that gut feeling is very, very real. Okay. And so, you know, I always get the question, like, how do you trust your gut feeling? Like, how do you, what do you know what it, how does it feel? You know, it, it's just something it's not something that you can really explain, right? It's just something that you know you feel, right? Right in the pit of your stomach, okay? You have to start following that, you guys, more than anything, okay? Because that is your inner spirit. That is your inner soul. That is your higher self trying to guide you. Okay, in the right direction. All right. Mm, okay, look at this hot opportunity. <laughs> hot opportunities everywhere. You got two yeses. You got two yeses out here. Okay, these cards says no. Okay, on the other side. But you have two yeses out here. Okay, so you're going to be fired up. Okay, whatever it is that you do, whatever passion that you have, okay, is going to be amplified times 10. Thank you, Spirit, in 2024. This is where your power is going to come from, Divine Feminine, okay? And I am here in specifically fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, don't have to be, but those are the, the strongest signs that are coming out. Okay, mm -hmm. and it could be air signs as well, right? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But what I do see, okay, is a burning desire that needs to be fulfilled. Okay, so like I said before, I want y'all to think about that burning desire that you have been wanting to go visit or that you've been wanting to see or that who whoever you've been wanting to talk to or whatever it is, okay? Picture yourself fulfilling that desire, okay? Because there is going to be a very hot opportunity coming your way, all right? This opportunity is going to put you in a position of power, Okay, is what I'm hearing from spirit. Ooh, okay. So I want to see what it is that you are going to morph into. What is going to make you so powerful in 2024? What's going to make you so powerful, Divine Feminine? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I can already tell you that first card, that piece, that alone, that alone is power, right? Knowing how to come from a peaceful place, okay? And accepting friendships that you know is only going to serve your higher good, okay? Nothing less than that. Nothing less than that. You know, for some of you, this could, this hot opportunity could be, you know, a flame coming your way, right? A twin flame coming your way, okay? I don't want to ignore that message, <laughs> you know, but you have to trust, you have to trust your gut instinct on this, okay? Spirit, what are they morphing into? 
in 2024. Ooh. Okay. We have Oya, okay, which is a goddess, an African goddess at that. And Oya embodies all of the storms, okay? I mean, Oya is the type of goddess that is going to bring about chaos. You know what? You know what? Spirit is telling me to go into the book. Hold on, you guys. Because I want to get this right. Thank you, Spirit. Let's go into the book, baby. Here we go. Ooh, I turned straight to it. Okay. Oya, did I show y'all? Look how beautiful she is. Look at that. Okay. She's going to bring the storm. Do y'all know how powerful a storm is? A storm can be very very powerful okay so oya okay she is a yoruba goddess okay goddess of the storms from nigeria right element water right wielding her powerful sword of truth oya is the yoruba goddess of storms wind and lightning storms bring shift rapid and uncon uncomfortable change right and at times chaos i told you oya tears it up okay so that you can have change here right so oya's guidance okay the winds of change are in motion into every life, a little rain must fall. Personal storms clear away the old. Sometimes change moves slowly. At other times, change is swift. Okay? So the question is, what would you like to change? Right? If you are not actively changing it, you are choosing it. To make shift happen... Focus on what you want. Stop giving energy to what is not working. The biggest thing, right, holding you back is you. If you want people in life to treat you better, you go first. If you attract betrayals, stress, and strife, the common denominator is you. Beating yourself up is self-harm, right? Feel your feelings. Honor your journey. Tell yourself the truth and practice self-compassion, okay? It Oya's goddess declaration, you guys, is I make shift happen. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go okay i don't know why i wanted to wanted to say i make shit happen okay because that's exactly the energy that i am picking up here okay oya is saying she makes shift happen okay but i feel like for my divine feminines a lot of you guys know exactly where i'm coming from when i say y'all make shit happen you do you do. In order to change something, you have literally got to tear it all up, tear it down. It's almost like the tower and rebuild it again. Do not be scared of that, Divine Feminine, okay? Because the power is in you through Oya, okay? Ooh, how beautiful was that? Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. How is my divine feminines morphing and becoming more powerful in 2024 spirit?
how are they morphing and becoming more powerful? I knew I felt this energy like, come on now. What other goddess is more powerful than Oya? I mean, there's a lot of powerful goddesses out there. But when I say the storm of Oya is so powerful, you guys. So powerful. Hmm. <laughs> Let's keep going. Spirit. What are my divine feminines transforming into? What are they morphing into? Why are they going to be so powerful in 2024? Why are they going to be so powerful? Mm, okay. We got two cards that flipped over. Let's see what it is. So I see that, I said that at the beginning, karmic relationships, right? Mm-hmm. Orion energy, polarity, soul growth, conflict, all of your karmic relationships, you are literally going to keep at bay. I'm not saying that you're going to get rid of every single karmic person in your life, Divine Feminine in 2024, but I promise you. You're not going to deal with them the way you, you dealt with them in 2023, okay? And I promise you that. You're not going to be dealing with these karmic energies the way you dealt with them in 2023. It's not going to happen, okay? Look at that. Look at that. Because you're stepping through a portal. This is why you're going to be powerful, I feel like a lot of you feel um, feel yourself going through this door, okay? For some of you, you've already entered this door. You've already started a lot of this already. You've already started ripping up. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, I don't know. Let's say your house, okay? You done started moving stuff. Throwing stuff away, getting rid of stuff, saging your house, okay? Putting affirmations everywhere, okay? Because you want new energy to come about, right? Some of you have left your jobs to become your own entrepreneur, okay? Is what I'm hearing Spirit say, right? And that's hard. That's hard to walk through that door. That's hard to leave the familiar, to go to the unfamiliar. It's a very scary thing, right? But I feel like you guys are ready. You guys are ready because you guys are going to do this very peacefully. You're going to walk through that door very, very peacefully. You know, you're trusting your instincts, okay? You know that there is a hot opportunity waiting on you through this, this portal. You know that you have to leave certain karmic energies behind. It's a sad thing. But I'm sorry, you got to go. Your energy got to go, right? Doors are opening. You decide. Isn't that what Oya just said? You are the one that is deciding what's going to show up in your life right this is the wild card let's read up on that mm -hmm. yeah let's go in on portal let's go in on portal and let's see <clears throat> what else this portal is talking about okay because i don't want to leave out anything i don't want to leave out nothing okay where are you at portal where are you at And that is so crazy. I don't see portal. Why don't I see portal? Because it's probably on this page. Come on, spirit. Are these the same cards? Yes, they are. Oh. What in the world? 
Okay, hold on, y'all. I think I got the wrong book. Okay. Sorry about that, y'all. I get a little crazy sometimes. Okay, where is Portal Spirit? There it is. Okay, I had the wrong book, y'all. 96. Okay. What is this portal talking about? Doors are opening. You decide. Rewards. Wild card. Okay? Your thoughts are extra powerful for you right now. Oh, my goodness. I, I can't. I cannot. Okay, planets are aligning. The timing is right. The universe is saying yes. That's why you have the wild card out here, you guys. Okay, you have the Midas touch. Your hard work is being rewarded. This is the time when you can recap. I mean, when you can reap the rewards of efforts made in the past. It's also a time when you can achieve a lot. Great leaps can be made. Extreme transformation can occur. Didn't I tell you you were morphing? Okay. Great distances can be traveled in a short space of time. You're swimming with the cosmic current of life. What experience would you like to have? Okay, ask yourself that. What experience would you like to have? What do you want to create? What new adventure would you like to manifest? Don't focus. Don't lose focus, okay? Use the moment in time wisely. All right? Be conscious and clear with your emotions and thinking. Projects that you've been working on are coming to fruition. Things are in full bloom. It's time to take your harvest and taste your well-earned fruits, okay? When this card comes up in a spread, it is a sure sign that efforts, right? That effortless change is possible. If you've been looking for a sign, this is your portal into a new reality now is the time to make big changes if you've been guided to switch things up you're extremely well supported right now use this energy and jump right in okay starseed soul inquiry what would you most like to experience and i already asked you that at the beginning okay what do you want to experience you have to make a way for you to experience that. You have to put yourself in position to experience that, right? You've got to get rid of the old to experience new. Okay, let's keep going. What are they morphing into, Spirit? Why are they going to be so powerful? in 2024 why are they going to be so powerful in 2024 like I feel like your 2024 divine feminine it's literally going to look like a new world like no joke it's going to look like a whole new world okay or like you have a whole new set of eyes Okay, I don't know why I'm getting LASIK. Okay, you're going to be seeing this thing in a whole different way. It's going to be much more beautiful, okay, than you could ever imagine. Walk into it. Walk into it. <clears throat> don't be afraid of your power. I don't think a lot of you guys are, but there, I do feel some of you here are kind of like, I don't know, I'm kind of scared what's, what's over there in that new world. <laughs> I'm kind of scared to go over there a little bit. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I might miss, you know, some people. 
And that's that's perfectly normal, you guys. That's perfectly normal. What are they morphing into, Spirit? Why are they going to be so powerful in 2024? Why are they going to be so powerful? Okay. Ooh, okay. So we have inner, inner integration, right? There is peace. Peace is coming up again. Oh my goodness. Equilibrium, right? And fulfillment in integrating the inner wild with the taming and tempering effect life has on us. Mm. You know, I just feel like this talks about going inwards. Okay. A lot of you guys, you know, it just goes back to your intuition. You know? Follow that gut instinct. Bring everything inward, okay? Everything starts from within, okay? Try to balance things out as you go, Divine Feminine. You know, I don't want you to be overwhelmed either, okay? Let's get another card. Mm-hmm. Time is on your side. You just heard Spirit say time is on your side. Okay. Give me one more card, Spirit. Mm -hmm. You may even be bringing a few people you know, a bit closer, bringing them in a bit closer, right? Oh, wow. Look at this home. Okay. May your body be, may your body be where a harmonious balance, and I say something about balance, of love, strength, light, and pleasure lives. Okay. Let me read that again. May your body be where a harmonious balance of love, strength, light, and pleasure lives. I promise you, I didn't bring up your home for no reason, okay? Didn't I say a lot of you are, like, getting rid of a lot of stuff? You know, you're taking things to donation. You know, you're, you're, you're bringing, you know, more spiritual things into your home, like incense, sage, uh, more candles, more herbs, you know what I'm saying? More fruit, more veggies. Um, I feel like in 2024, for a lot of you, your home is going to be your sanctuary, right? Your home is where you're going to get the most balance. Your home is where you're going to have the most peace, right your home is where you're going to work from okay to earn a living right to do your passion you're going to be in the safety and the comfort of your home okay did i show y'all the card look at that look at that i mean she's literally can y'all see that literally soaking and all of this beautiful energy, right? It's it's literally like a a pond of of mixed <laughs> emotions, <laughs> right? But it's good emotions, you know. It's great emotions, right? A lot of you are in your forties, okay. I will say that. A lot of you are in your 40s. Okay. Or you're turning 40 this year. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, y'all. Okay. Give me some more information, Spirit. Oh, my goodness. You guys, y'all are going to be so in your power. That it's, it's going to feel unreal. It's going to feel so unreal. 
Mm. You're going to be so radiant. You're going to be giving off such powerful, beautiful, divine feminine energy. And it's like everyone is going to want to be around you. Look at this. The garden and the gate, baby. Abundance is going to be all around you. Okay. Abundance is going to be all around you. You're going to see beauty in everything. I'm trying to tell you, it's like you're going to have a new set of eyes. Okay, let's get a few more cards. What else is coming? Spirit, why are they going to be so powerful? So some of you, you're going to create a beautiful, beautiful garden. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or you're just going to buy more plants. That's what I'm hearing. Somebody's going to buy them a birdhouse. Okay, birds are going to visit you a lot in 2024. So when they do come to you, look at that bird. Okay, look at the colors. Look at how it acts. Try to get the message that the bird or the birds are sending you. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Look at this. Is that cornucopia? Didn't I say abundance is all around you? Oh, my goodness. <gasps> and then, look, we got another, like, pond. Okay? Look at that. See that pond down there? See that pond right there? Right? See how she's soaking in that river or that pond? Okay, so I am getting from spirit that, you know, in 2024, y'all need to be taking more spiritual baths. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Thank you, spirit. More spiritual baths, right? Or maybe you just really need to be um, visiting the water more. Okay, being out in the rain. Okay, maybe you 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 you've always wanted to dance in the rain. Go do that this year. You know? <laughs> Don't do it while it's lightning outside, but you know, a little bit of rain ain't never hurt nobody. <clears throat> okay. Wash your hair in the rain, okay, is what I'm hearing. Right? Action. Spirit is saying take action. Okay? On the things that you're fired up about, okay? Because remember, we do have fired up here. Look at that at the bottom. Go do the things that light up your soul. Go do the things that fire you up. Go do the things that you would do every single day for free. Let's grab one more card. And then I'm going to go ahead and close this reading out, you guys. Okay? This was beautiful. And of course, Kona, <laughs> of course, cornucopia would come out. Of course it would. Of course it would. You're in your power. You're going to be the most powerful this year. Abundance is all around you, right? You may even take a trip where, you know, um, you go on horseback riding, okay? Right? Maybe you've always wanted to get on a horse. Mm -hmm. Remember this horse's name. That <laughs> is what Spirit is telling me. When you meet your horse, remember your horse's name, okay? Because I feel like it's going to be significant for someone, okay? So these were the messages that came out for you. If you guys love this reading, okay, hit that like button. Better yet, share this video with someone that you feel may need this message, okay? If you are looking for... Royal protection bracelets, okay, just to kind of give you a little bit more added protection to yourself as well as your twin flame 
journey okay go check those out on riseroyals.com a lot of you guys are still asking me where are my 18 plus okay my 18 plus are on patreon okay and i always pin those in the pinned comments below okay so that you guys can have easy access to it you know because you're not going to be able to search me and find me there's no way okay the only way you can get to me is through the pinned comment through the link okay if you guys are wanting a personal reading with me okay get it in right now i'm trying to tell you i get booked <laughs> Okay, and I have regulars, a lot of them. All right. Um, so yeah, if you're wanting a personal reading, my information will be in the description box below as well as the bio. All right. I love you guys so so much. It's your favorite goddess, goddess platinum, and I'm out.